Following a devastating year filled with COVID-19 deaths and hospitalizations, I Chief Trauma Surgeon Dr. Brant Putnam so describes the so mental anguish from hospital uh, staff. That, just, that was a tremendous toll, I think, on everybody. It, it really, you know, the physical workload of taking care of a sick COVID patient that's uh, on a breathing machine, you know, that's just... It really, I think, destroyed the morale over a, uh, over a period of time. Now the staff is faced with a new burden in 2021. In my 20 plus years, this is probably, you know, the busiest I've seen in terms of gunshot wound victims in particular. Harbor UCLA is a level one trauma center. This year, it's experiencing a nearly 87% increase in gunshot wound victims compared to the same time period in 2020. It's a tremendous use of resources when we have a gunshot wound victim come in. Um, and unfortunately, it's become all too regular for us. And, uh, you know, we, you know, as much as we like taking care of patients, it would be nice if that part of things would go, go away. The rise is a direct result of the increased amount of violence on the streets. LAPD is reporting cases with shooting victims are up 70% this year compared to last with deadly shootings surging too, including the one in Mid-City on Monday, killing two men and injuring an innocent woman, all over an argument. Some of that, you know, you can speculate maybe related to the pandemic, doing everything virtually, people being frustrated. It's kind of a sad, I think, uh, commentary on society and, and people aren't exactly sure why this is happening, but, you know, they are tired as well. Tired after going from one stressor with the COVID-19 pandemic to the next. Dr. Putnam hopes the violence will start to subside. We just take one day at a time and, and try and um, take care of the patients and start to think about what we can do from a community activism standpoint, a violence prevention standpoint, and tell people how serious it really is, how much of a healthcare problem it really is. And part of that outreach is the interview that the doctor just did to make sure people are aware about what's happening in our communities, and he hopes to help with the problem. I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.